Okay, I could not find a video explaining this, so I messed around with it and I figured it out myself. So, what you want to do is just ditch the controller, the, the physical controller with the four buttons and all the ports and stuff on it, just ditch that. Um, what you want to do is just plug your fans and pump and everything in to the motherboard as you would to power it. And then, this one isn't lit up, I'll get to that in a minute. Take the cables, the RGB cables, the addressable RGB cables, and you're going to plug them into the splitter that came with the cooler. So all those three things are plugged in here. And then you're going to take the other end of the splitter and plug it into an addressable RGB port. This is the three pin. I'll unplug this to show you. There's three pins. You're going to plug it into that just like so. Be careful not to damage the pins. And that's it. Now they work. But if you want to have RGB strips or more than two fans like I have here, what you're going to want to do is get another splitter. So addressable RGB splitter. And then you're going to plug it in there, plug this splitter into that splitter, and then plug your fan uh, and RGB strips or whatever into that splitter. So you'll have two splitters, um, but that's really the only way I think this, is, this can be done. Unless you have multiple addressable RGB headers, which would be quite convenient. But if you don't, like me, then um, this is the way to do it. So, good luck. Thanks for watching.